Connor relaxed and smiling. Oh, oh no! no! He slapped him! Connor McGregor! Just a few days back, Connor McGregor suffered the first KO loss of his career in a rematch against the Diamond Dustin Poirier. The match took place on the 24th of January in Abu Dhabi and was the first pay per view match in the UFC in 2021. In 2014, when the fighters first went in the ring, McGregor knocked out Poirier in about two minutes and even boasted before the rematch that he could reenact this victory in 60 seconds. However, he ended up losing to Dustin the Diamond, as he is famously called, dealt Connor a number of calf kicks which weakened him and eventually sent him to the ground. Now that Connor has suffered his first KO loss, what are his plans? Will he be going back into retirement? If not, who is he most probable to fight next? Stay with us as we try to determine what is next in the career of Connor McGregor. What is next for Connor McGregor? The career of Connor McGregor has always had some sort of hype around it. Whether he is spending his millions on fancy suits and wristwatches or knocking out a fighter in the ring, the fighter has managed to consistently be in the news. He has also been the subject of several criticisms and hits both inside and outside the ring but none of these hits is as devastating as the right hook punch that Dustin Poirier knocked him out with some have called the fight revenge while others have said that Conor McGregor has lost his magic one of such opinions came from Khabib Nurmagomedov, a longtime rival. Khabib, who retired undefeated in October 2020 after he retained his title against Justin Gaethje, wrote on Twitter, This is what happened. When you change your team, leave the sparring partners who made you a champion and sparring with little kids far away from reality. You'd remember that when Khabib just started out, he mentioned that he admired Conor McGregor as a fighter. This grew into a friendship that unfortunately turned sour when Conor stated in an interview that Khabib wasn't his friend because there were no friends in the fighting business. Even though it seems like a long time has passed since the feud, it appears like Khabib still feels nothing but hatred in his heart for Connor. And this defeat gives the undefeated champion a reason to mock his rival. Now, let's get back to the fight that changed how we view Connor McGregor. His fight with Dustin Poirier was a rematch, with it happening for the first time in 2014. Ironically, Dustin Poirier was knocked out for the first time by McGregor in 2014. Six years later, he returns the favor. To properly understand the defeat of Connor, however, there are a number of factors we must take into consideration. At the start of 2020, Connor stated that he wanted to complete at least three fights. Unfortunately, he had just one fight, which lasted for only 40 seconds against Donald Cerrone. After the very easy win, he craved a worthy challenger and mentioned that he wanted to go against Khabib Nurmagomedov for the second time. But something happened that no one saw coming. The global health situation. Due to the social laws, fights were paused and Connor had to train to pass the time. After a while, he came on Twitter to announced that he was retiring from fighting again. He came back in 2021 into the ring and was knocked out in two minutes. This came as a shock to MMA fans and rivals across the world, considering how much he had said the week before the fight. This is a fighter who had boasted that he would knock out his opponent in 60 seconds. In fact, during the fight, he had lost consciousness for a brief second and his eyes showed that he was in pain. It would be fair to say that there is a difference between the McGregor of today and the fighter he used to be. It would be fair to say that this fighter who destroyed everyone who came into the ring with him and became the first ever dual weight champion is losing his strength and the magic that made him McGregor or or the notorious MMA. On another hand, this could have just been a bad day for the fighter. Many would consider McGregor to be the second best lightweight in the world. Of course, right after Khabib Nurmagomedov. Many would also immediately consider Dustin Poirier for third place. Hence, we could say that this was just the third best trying to become the second best in the world. But but there is still a need for concern, and this is because of what McGregor said after the fight with Dustin. In the post-fight conference, he said, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know whether I'm that upset. I don't know what to say. I'm not that upset about it, which is another weird one for me. This statement gets us worried about his mentality. Does the defeat not bother him? Is it bothering him so much that he denies it? Whatever his answers are, he must get over it so it won't affect his mentality in his next fights. Who would he be fighting next? In the lightweight category, there are a few names that McGregor could want to face in the near future. However, there are no easy opponents, meaning any fight he chooses will surely be another challenging bout. He could choose to fight Dustin Poirier again, making it a trilogy bout, but this could end up being another defeat for McGregor. He could go into fighting with a damaged mentality, which would do nothing but lead to defeat. He could also choose to fight Justin Gaethy, but Justin will surely do more damage to his leg than Dustin did. Justin Gaethy is also extremely powerful 
with his hands than Dustin Poirier is. Other options include Charles Oliveira. While this might sound like an easy win, it will surely be a tough nut to crack for the fighter. He could also compete to trilogy fight with Nate Diaz. Since they have each beaten each other once, a third fight will clearly show who is better. A fight with Diaz is also going to bring big bucks to the pockets of the fighters and that of the UFC. McGregor, however, still wants Khabib Nurmagomedov, but the Russian has retired and a fight will only happen if he comes out of retirement. If he doesn't get Khabib, he could as well get Paul Felder. With the retirement of Khabib, the place of gold is up for grabs. Since the defeat of Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier has immediately turned out to be the favorite. Since 2016, he has defeated big names like Anthony Pettis, Eddie Alvarez, Dan Hooker, Justin Gaethje, and Holloway. The Louisiana-born fighter has spent the last five years winning fights and beating the best fighters in the world. Some critics would argue that he is the best fighter after Khabib Nurmagomedov, not Conor McGregor as officially recognized. To become the best, Dustin might have to go against Charles Oliveira to prove his strength and skills, pushing Conor McGregor behind in the ranks. It is also important that we do not forget the threat that is Michael Chandler. However, for the fighter to get his respect back, it appears like he would have to get dirty in order to get his hands on that title again. He could go against an already weak Tony Ferguson. While the victory might not be as powerful as it was four years ago, it would still bring back a bitter respect for Conor McGregor. For the number one contender fight in the UFC, it is fair to say that it would be against Justin Gaethje and Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler shut up critics and doubters when he knocked out Dan Hooker, a top-ranked fighter in the UFC. Even Dana White, the president of the USC, was shocked at how that turned out. Dana said of Michael Chandler after the fight, when guys come into the UFC for the first time, they usually have a rough first time on the big stage. He didn't. He came out and it almost seemed like Hooker froze in that first round. Chandler was just all over him and put on some incredible performance. He then said, listen man, when you get that platform we had tonight, you make the most of it. And that kid did. Some people did tonight and some didn't. Outside of the UFC, McGregor still wants to fight Manny Pacquiao. But if this does not happen, he might end up taking on Jake Paul. Jake Paul has been calling out the fighter for more than six months. After McGregor's defeat to Dustin, Jake wrote on social media, we were going to give you 50 million, but now I'll give you 10k cash. This fight will mean a lot for the career of McGregor, but only if he wins. Jake Paul has nothing to lose, and he has everything to gain if he records a win. If McGregor loses a boxing match to Jake Paul, he might never recover from the fight. But if he wins, he could record the highest income from a single fight. What will he do? We'll have to wait and see. An acting career? Conor McGregor has a controlling personality, a sort of personality that comes with a presence that can grip rooms, press conferences, or movie scenes. A Hollywood career might not be in the works for Conor McGregor, but it surely would be a solid move if he decides to give it a shot. Every time he is on the camera, you can always tell that he was made for it. He also has the menacing look that immediately sets him apart as dangerous. All of these could easily turn him into an action film star. This would be great, right? But then, he could be best suited for the ring. But if he decides against this, he could quickly grab a career in the WWE. While this might seem like a long shot, critics and observers of mixed martial arts have played with the idea a number of times. However, since this is a pantomime mostly, it might be a stain on the career of Conor McGregor as a real fighter. In conclusion, if McGregor is ready to once again become one of the most dangerous fighters in the world, he has to prove his rivals wrong by winning some very big fights. The next few months will determine how this will go. And with that, we wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.